Everybody right now has dreams, don't they, guys? All right, everybody in the NFL, I have a dream of making it in the NFL. I got a dream of winning a Super Bowl. I got a dream of being in a Pro Bowl. I'm really not into dreams anymore, okay? I'm into fucking nightmares. You guys with me on that? Mosh pit. You got to end somebody's dream. You got to take their job. You got to take their heart. Are you guys clear about this NFL shit now? We're not trying to go to the Peach Bowl. We're not trying to go to the Gator Bowl or the Blue Bonnet Bowl. We're trying to go to the Super Bowl. The autumn wind is a pirate. Blustering in from sea, with a rollicking song, he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down, and laugh when he's conquered and won. Just win, baby. Ah! I love it. You know, I sit in my office and I just shake. I get so excited. <laughs> Raider Nation, what's good, y'all? Hey, we're coming off a fresh W, baby. We're going to jump into some news. Um, first things first, though, I've been waiting to do kind of a film review, film breakdown, but uh, NFL Game Pass still hasn't released the All-22 film, so currently on hold. Uh but in the meantime, I wanted to get this news video out, let you guys know what's going on. So let's jump into it. So we saw quite a few Raiders go out on Sunday with an injury. Uh, Nick Wachowski, we had Trent Brown, then Sam Young went down, uh, Henry Ruggs was out for a bit, and then even Brian Edwards pulled up and had to come off the field for a couple plays. Uh, so it was a rough one on Sunday, man. But uh, for the most part, the news that we have has been good. Nick Kwiatkowski was originally thought to have a torn pectoral, but MRI came back and there's no tear. So that's good news, man. Um, I think we should expect to see him on Monday night against the Saints. He's played through, you know, a pectoral injury before, so he's a tough dude. I think he'll tough it out. And Trent Brown, you know, we haven't really got any solid news, but from what I can gather, um, things are positive. He has a chance to play on Monday. And Sam Young left with a groin injury. I still don't have any news on that, um, but he played pretty well for the time he was in. Um, the Raiders offensive line in general played really well. No sacks on Derek Carr, even on our third string tackle. So those boys played a great game, and uh, you know we need them to, to be strong and healthy going forward. Raiders are moving on from safety Dallin Levitt to make room for Nevin Lawson, who's coming off suspension. I'm kind of undecided on my opinion on Lawson. Um, he's a veteran, so he's going to bring some experience to this young squad. Um, and I think he played okay last year. So, um, you know, it'll be good to have him back. I think he's more useful to us than Levitt is, so that's an upgrade in my opinion. Daniel Carlson was perfect on the day, and he even hit a career long. And he was named AFC Special Teams Player of the Week, so congrats to Daniel Carlson, man. Um, he's got a big leg. He's struggled with accuracy from time to time, but I think he's, you know, cementing himself as one of the better kickers in the league and um, I'm proud of him. He did have some ugly kicks last year, but in his last 25 games, he's kicking nearly 84% and 96% on his extra points. So can't really ask for much more from a kicker with a big leg. And staying on the topic of rewards, Josh Jacobs had himself a day, folks. Uh, he won Snickers Hungriest Player of the Week, and he even got a nice little chain to go along with it, man. This thing is cold. The chain is made by Ben Baller. The chain includes 31 carats, of 2,374 diamonds, blue sapphires, and red rubies, man. This thing is nice. Good for you, Josh Jacobs. And on not so good news, Damon Arnett, he allowed a perfect passer rating on Sunday. Um, he, he didn't play great, man. He gave up a huge touchdown to Robbie Anderson. Um, I thought his tackling was iffy, and we drafted him to be, you know, a good tackling corner. He was the best tackling corner in college football, in my opinion. And he just wasn't wrapping up. He delivered a couple nice hits, uh, one, to, one to McCaffrey that he bounced off of. And I saw him on a couple other tackles that he just threw his body in there and didn't wrap up. So I think he needs to clean that up a little bit. He did have one uh, tip pass at the end of the first half that was probably going to end up being a touchdown. He tipped it and uh, prevented the touchdown. So kudos there. Um, but uh, he's got to clean it up. So, you know. We've seen it before. Trayvon Mullen got burned in his first in his first game against Emmanuel Sanders. You know, welcome to the NFL, Damon Arnett. Time to clean it up, baby. 
I'd like to welcome back Jonathan Abram to the Raiders. Oh man, what a homecoming. This dude had 14 tackles, laid the lick on McCaffrey, showed why he's worthy of wearing that 24, and he was even toting the baggy sleeves like Willie Brown back in the day. I, I can't say enough. I'm so excited. Welcome back, Jonathan Abram. And I can tell you this too. Raider fans aren't the only ones who love to see Abram play. Josh Jacobs says he watches him like a fan. Man, he loves the way he plays. He brings that energy to the defense, and that's huge. Um, Abram, though, was not very happy with the way the defense played. He said, you know, we give up big plays like that in this league. That's how you lose games. So I know Abram's going to be fired up in practice. We got the Saints coming in, Monday Night Football. Um, if practice isn't lit this week, uh, there's something wrong because this is a huge game. Um, it's a huge game, man. That's all I can say. Um, and I'm glad to have Abram back. That's for sure. Speaking of the number two four, Charles Woodson is nominated for the 2021 Hall of Fame. God, man, I hope he gets in. Woodson's probably my favorite Raider of all time. Number 24 is my favorite number. I wore that in baseball all the time throughout high school. Um, so I'm, I'm pulling for Charles Woodson, man. I know we all are, too. That's a no-brainer. No so uh, good luck to him, and uh, good luck to Tom Flores this year, too. So if it's one thing that I was hoping to see out of Ruggs, it was a lot of motion. It was a lot of, you know, coming across Derek Carr's face, creating uh, creating confusion for the defense. Uh, like I said, pre-snap motion, identify man coverage. I wanted to see him on some sweeps, on some quick outs, and some deep balls, and we got it all. So I'm super stoked with the way that the Raiders used Henry Ruggs this week, and um, I hope we see more and more of it, man. Like, this guy is so dynamic, and we already saw it. He was wide open on a huge play, almost scored, took a took a little jet sweep play and took it for like nine yards um he's electric and i'm just stoked man i so happy that we got him like i i was really pulling to get cd lamb just because i you know i liked his size i liked his physicality but um man i i'm so happy that I, that we got rugs because we ended up getting brian edwards who's you know big physical guy and uh, I think we got the best of both worlds with Ruggs and Edwards. And so happy that we didn't get CeeDee Lamb. I love the X factor that Ruggs brings, man. That You can't teach speed. And, you know, we're going back to that old school Raider mentality. You know, put some fast guys on the field and let them fly. All right, so let's jump into our last little piece of news for this week. Um, it's good news for us. Bad news for the Saints. Michael Thomas has a high ankle injury and is most likely going to miss Monday night and probably a couple weeks after that. So, um... I'm going to drop a pregame prediction, a pregame, you know, game plan, all, all that type of stuff like I did last week uh, for the Saints game in a couple of days. Um, so we'll go over that a little bit more in depth on that video. And um, like I said, I'm, I'm waiting for your NFL Game Pass to release the All-22 film so I can go over a few plays that I thought were, you know, crucial in this last game. Uh, talk about some things that I like from some players and talk about some things that, you know, I didn't like from some guys. So uh, look out for that. I'm hoping to be able to put that out in the next couple days. Um, obviously, I want to get that out before the weekend comes because then we're moving into Saints talk. So just waiting on NFL Game Pass. Um, somebody go give them a kick in the butt for me. Tell them to hurry it up. All right, guys. Peace out. Much love, Raider Nation. Till next time.